Hello friends, how the hell have you been doing? Man, it's been a minute since I've done one of these Honest Hero reviews. Yeah, with the upcoming rumors of meta changes and everything else, it's got the community in an uproar and I've just been like, wow, you know, people leaving weird comments on my videos and stuff. And I mean, come on, give me a break, dude. I'm in my own little world here. Just let me have fun. But anyhow, today's hero review is going to be Li Zhu. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I call her Li. Li. Costume Li. We're not even going to worry about the regular one. Let's go with this artwork here. Man, she's ready to rock and roll. She ready to shoot a rocket up your butt. That's all I can say. Yeah, got a landelier on her hip there. I don't know what's supposed to be in there. Are those firecrackers? I don't know. Anyhow, it's cool artwork. Yeah. But uh, this hero here, the wizard class, this is the main, one of the main draws with her. It was, uh, if they was to ever nerf her, they would change her class. And I know people's like, nerf her? They nerf a four star. Well, she's pretty damn powerful. As you can see, I double limit broker. She was probably the first one. It was a no-brainer. Out of all my heroes to double limit break this hero to give her five-star freaking stats. Basically, her stats are that of a five-star. I mean, uh, amazing. Amazing uh, damage reduction. Uh, you know, it's going to be harder to kill. Uh Costume family bonuses. I don't have to read all that. Yep, yep, yep. Family bonus. I got it all mixed up there. Anyhow, costume bonus. <sighs> that little mana bonus helps out on average speed. Uh, that's for sure. But let's get to the bread and butter of uh, why she's such a useful hero. Uh... I mainly use this hero in Rush Wars. I've got multiple copies, but I only have one leveled up. Most people have at least three or four copies leveled up. I don't know if they're double limit broke, but at least limit broke. Uh, for the cost, it's worth it. Uh, mm. Slash of the Seven Stilettos. Deals 270 damage to target nearby enemies. And then the target nearby enemies get silenced for three turns. That's the big one, especially in Rush. You know, you silence and all these. Uh, our freakies, just, just all of them. Just shutting them down. She's a shutdown artist. You know, and uh, does a wonderful job, especially in raid tournaments as well. And, you know, you don't even have to use her in Rush. You can just use her just... Anytime, utility, great. She can go in any five-star team, fill in there. Uh, just wonderful. But the bread and butter is the talents. Superior Jinx, of course. 50% uh, chance to spell all active buffs from the target before the damage is dealt. You know, and uh, this deals the tile damage. Just normal tile damage, you know, that you throw. Holy tile damage you throw into an enemy. Uh can, has an opportunity to dispel, you know, and a 50% chance. So with her on your team, it's just, uh, it's hard for the enemy team to hold up any kind of buffs or anything for their team because she just knocks them out. I mean, it's such a basic hero, but such a impactful hero. That silence is uh, very detrimental. And uh, if you run her in conjunction with, like, Cupido, like I do, you know, a lot of times... uh you're just playing with the defense and shutting them down. But uh, if you have a copy of her and you don't have her leveled up, you're missing out on the great fun. Uh, like I said, most people that I know, every copy they get, they level up. And they've got three or four copies. I'm the only one that's only got one. It's because I I just, I, I level up so many heroes. Uh, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. But yeah. That is Lee, Lou, however you want to pronounce it. I'm not a linguistic language expert. Uh, but yeah, I thank you for stopping by the video. And what's your thoughts? How often do you use Lee? 
And with that said, I hope you have a wonderful day.